Hey, welcome back to the channel. It is, well, it's raining. I guess you guys are gonna have to wait and see if it actually amounted to anything. You are now watching Farming with Duffy Ag. How much rain? Oh, wow. Okay. Almost four tenths. More than I thought. Still need like three more inches, but what I'm hoping is my crops, as far as my corn over there, actually comes out of it a little bit because I do have people interested in buying it. Um, but that is dry over there so appreciate you guys watching along though and let's dive into today we got a we got a lot of things to do always a plus that pretty much most weeks i gotta come down through worcester to either go to work or go to the shop and uh fleet right here they got some guys that have really figured out a lot of my old junk for parts like that uh red trailer the brakes on it um freaking sweet OG charger that's what I think it was um so yeah in and out 20 minutes got brakes for the red truck all around seals got the red knob we didn't get around to pulling the seal for the drive shaft that's leaking or the air valve but I gotta bring back the cores anyways and then I'll grab that stuff next week but at least we're gonna get the brakes done this weekend and get seals for everything on it so all right, I gotta keep going in my day, and then when we get home, we're gonna play truck mechanic. Look at this freaking thing. Hydrotech. That is a hell of a setup. Someday I'm gonna have a nice service truck. Someday. Oh, there's my new air compressor. Whew. Imagine. A lot of people have said, why don't you use your truck's air tanks to fill it up? Um. I've never had good luck, like both of them have ports. The white truck is slow as molasses to actually fill anything. It's built to fill that small system and then keep it keep it good for what it uses, but it's definitely not built for doing what I'm using it for. So that little air compressor is actually kicking a lot, along a lot better than I ever would have thought. But yeah, I was passing that, so I figured I'd put my two cents in on that. I, I appreciate you guys dropping comments of how I should do things better because I do take a lot of it and I've learned a lot. So every day you wake up and you learn more and the day you stop learning is the day you're done. So you should always be open minded, always try to push yourself, excel and see what goes on. And I love a challenge and I love learning and uh, I'm not a master at anything, not even close. but. Uh, I'll do about anything as far as working on stuff and tinkering and figuring it out. Like, you can't be afraid. So, yeah. Can't be afraid to fail. Or lose your mind or struggle. or Because you can always make it out. You just gotta ask for the right people and keep learning and driving. Alrighty. See you guys when I get back to work. Well, all done with work. It's Friday, so you guys know what that means. It's party time. Nah, it's just some more work. But, got all sorts of parts for this. So, we're gonna just throw them in there and hope everything, uh, yeah, goes together. I guess we will see. We're gonna change out that brake can while we're here. We got a leak right up in there. And... Then we'll have one out of four done once we get everything on and we'll just keep gaining but we got to get unloaded i'm going to pull the chopper out of the way that way i can back into here and not have to make multiple trips 
threw the chopper under cover last night, which was good because, yeah, it got four tenths of an inch of rain, like I said. It's better to keep things dry. So I could, probably could have got some more life out of these shoes, but not that much more life. But I got hardware, so four sets of hardware. These springs are for the tankers, so I stopped breaking springs. I got all the seals, and then I got brake shoes. But comparing those... To those yeah we really didn't have much life actually left in these ones so it's better that we do it and we're gonna start with the most rewarding thing which is that air um, brake pin or that wow the handle for the trailer brakes cuz uh, yeah that got broke off and every time I touch it and it falls back off I'm like damn I need to fix that so let's uh Let's change that out first. Yeah. So, hopefully, ah, uh, this actually looks bigger. We might be wrong. So, as you see, that's not ideal. So, gotta get that pin out. Ooh, that, that fits the same. We'll be okay. Okay. That came out. That comes off. Beautiful. Good work, guys. I'm gonna start it through. I guess I should have probably got the orange one that goes with this, or the yellow ones. But. Well, at least if the rest of the day falls apart on us, we got one thing done. Yep, we got no air in the system anyways right now. We're gonna have to change this little tree out. I got some black ones. That one doesn't really have any more smell. So let's do that too. Ooh oh yeah, we got a little fresh air coming in here. A little black tree. Um, I was gonna hang it back there, but I might put it up here. There we go. Since we don't have a rear view mirror to hang it on, but. We got a visor. So, alrighty. Well, in here, things are actually really, really good. So, the door doesn't rattle. We got our handle back. All the gauges work, all the lights work. Yeah, we got our boom box. Things are good. So, let's get back to, uh, well, the functionality of the truck. Okay, a little more dismantle so s cams look good the cam itself looks good um but as long as we're there we're gonna change these out somebody said oh don't do that they still probably work good these bad boys are pretty old like you can still do the service on them so, if you don't know, the new ones, that is all, that's a solid ring. So, you got to cut that off. That's under pressure of a spring. Um, yeah, no loosey, no touchy. But the old ones, you could die like men. Take that off, play your chances. We're going to need these little adapter pieces um, to go down to the smaller airlines there. But otherwise... We'll do that, and then, oh, they're already lined up. That's pretty cool. So, then we just got to cut it off the same length as this. So, we'll measure up, cut it, throw that one on, and reassemble of at least one. 
is going on right now. This thing is struggling, fighting me. I'm struggling. I don't want to break nothing. Smashed my hand already. We're doing good. Because anything we break, we gotta go get so that we can keep moving. All of this stuff's been on here for quite some time. Hey, this battery's dead. Well, that works a little bit better. This stuff's been on there for whew, years and years and years. Not a bad thing to take it apart. Make sure everything goes back together well. And, uh, yeah, have a general idea of what the truck has for the future. I'm all about it. That really freaking hurt when I, I hit my hand with the hammer. <laughs> I had to go over and borrow some Teflon tape from my brother's guys. <sighs> There's a lot of common sense saying, asking what my brother thinks of the whole situation. So all spring my brother would post that I'm the hardest working person he knows and whatnot. So he doesn't, he stays out of this doesn't give me advice because he went out on his own and he knows the struggles and whatnot. And, but, yeah. It is what it is. Enough of that. We're moving on. We got things to do. We got plans. We got some plans. You guys are coming along for the ride. That was easier than holding it probably set it down on the low function we don't crack break nothing but that is on there tight put the elbow on then we just got to cut it it's freaking hot in this thing too in the hoop building it beats being outside but it is freaking hot I'm gonna tighten the, the what you will call it out cage bolt in there so that I have them. Some people take them right out. I like having them on there because when you broke down on the side of the road, if you don't have them at all, you're screwed. But if you have them in there, you got a chance of getting them out. Where did it? I believe it's three quarter. Yeah. Okay. Now it's in there. Cage bolt releases brakes um, so that the truck can roll if there's an issue with the can or something and it won't release. Let's measure this up and then cut it. These have a little like pad over them, so we gotta make sure we got some added extra inches there. Five and a eighth. That's what you do. Take this off. Screw this all the way down, so then you can back it out. For when you mess the threads up, then you can get things on much easier. They all come the same length, and then you cut them to whatever length you need. Keep in mind, three years ago, I had no idea what I was doing with any air brakes, any big trucks. So if I'm doing something wrong, and you got experience or a better way of doing things, let me know, because I am learning on this stuff. So, 
I'll mark that, cut that, and then reinstall. Extra. Back this out. 15 sixteenths, I believe. I don't think I got the 15 sixteenths wrench out. We got the socket out though. Yeah. Don't hit your hand with this hammer. It really, really hurts. My neck hurt the other day, and now we're good on that. Good. So you put that back on. Make sure clevis back on. Grab a pair of pliers, take your pin out. Pin's the same size. I've come across where pins are a little, or different sizes and that always makes it more interesting. Here's everything to go with this. That's back together, stuff's on the right side. Everything looks good. Sometimes you gotta rotate this around if it's sideways. But these are up and down. So we'll take this, take the, one of these, one of these. We'll come back underneath here. Put your washer, your lock washer, and you're not. And then you leave the pin off because you want to tighten everything. But once you get it tightened down, then you can put your pin back through. Um, we need that and this. those over there washer lock washer nut keep in mind that's not tight right now so we can line everything up Get your extension gun put it on three Put it going on. Okay. Okay. So from there, so that other one had a little bit of thread going through it. Cut it the same length as that, but this has adjustment based on everything else. But. There you go, put that through. Now what we forgot here? A little bit of never sees on that, so the next time we do it, we don't have to smash our hands. Getting the pin out. <sighs> Goes a long way. You also become the tin man, but. <clears throat> Okay, what do we got going on here? I think I gotta go. Gotta go in a little more. Oh, too far. There we go. Slides right through. 
Take ten men. What do we do with our There we go. So next time we can take it out. Hopefully that's not seized in. We do have two grease fittings. So you gotta make sure you hit both of those, otherwise things do not work well. So you got one there, one there. This thing sitting around definitely made for some things to leak um, and or just wear out, be stuck. That is the nature of having stuff sit around, but that's also the nature of get find, have, getting a barn find pretty much. So, clean up all this junk that's on here. So from here, we're gonna do our brakes. I didn't realize there was backing plates like that. That's cool. So down around here, grab a thing of brake clean. And then so the brakes sit on one side of this. Each each shoe. And those actually look still good, very good. Keep in mind these brakes probably, I could have run them for a while longer. So the drums and everything else like that, that's all still good. But if we're gonna have it apart, we might as well have it apart and do it all. That way we don't have to mess with this truck again. You see there's a gap, but it's because of how it's flexing. So, oh, yeah, I don't have any specialty tools to do brakes. So this, I did order a brake set, set of pliers, but yeah, this is gonna be learning. This will be the first actual set of brakes I've done by myself. Yeah, there's a lot more life left to these ones than uh, what was on there. So we'll set these up here. Still got Mountain Dew sitting here for, oh, it's sticky. Yeah, should have cleaned that up yesterday. Yeah. We're gonna have to wash that. Brake cleaning, everything else. Ugh. So, set of brakes, set of hardware, let's put it together. And like this, lock those in, that holds those in place, which that rides up on your S-cam. We are missing one of those, which is kind of odd. Is it in the bucket? That bag was open, like ripped open. Nope, I think we got shortchanged on that one. You can see how there's two in those. Oh, that sucks. Not the end of the world, but... Dang. Yeah, there should be two in there. Two in each. I wish I had all the right tools. Alrighty, those are out. We got our other ones to go in. Yeah, got it. Okay, so there we go. Those are out. This is what those are supposed to look like. So, we gotta put this one in. We gotta clean it up and do everything like that and tap it in. Whew. And then that will be much better. 
Okay, so those are good. And then we just slide these right in. Don't forget to never seize them, but I was making sure they'd actually slide in. Yeah, it's your friend. Never seizes your friend. We learned a lot about that on the chopper, right? Yeah, working on big trucks, not that much fun. Especially when you don't have the right tools, but we're in now. That bottom one took some finesse. Had to clean up around the edges. It's in, it slides, everything's good. Cut these together. Got the spring holders. So this goes across here to that one. And uh, yeah, then we got the bottom. So, like I said before, I don't actually have the proper tools for this, but we're gonna we're gonna try. We're gonna see how far we if we can do it or not. Otherwise, we gotta wait till tomorrow to actually throw them together. But oh. so this just goes right on there. And then this one will go this. Oh. Not pick up on the thing. That's just a holder that holds it in. <clears throat> That's as far as we can go. That's as close as they'll be. Okay. Let me lay down here for a minute and think about it. It's freaking hot. I've been drinking water too, which means it's really freaking hot and I'm out of Mountain Dew so we might not make it now oh. yeah there's a tool that pulls those apart and I, I did order it like I said I will be here tomorrow Okay. Well, we got one. Whew. Okay. Backside's less fun one because you can't really see what you're doing. But, let's see. There we go. Now it's on. Okay. So our springs are on. Which is good. Brit new brakes are on. New can. Whew. Got a wheel seal to do on this one. <clears throat> well, we're doing wheel seals on all of them, but. <sighs> so yeah. As a uh, can pushes out or pulls back in, it adjusts right here. It turns it. And then it widens it out so right now is the most in it would be possible which means when we slide it on that should slide right over and then we'll adjust it out so it engages properly so those are together and i was like all right let me grab a wheel seal i'll throw that in and uh we'll get going on it and get that one back together and keep moving because having one out of three done doesn't make me feel very good see a problem yep yeah Okay, we're not putting the drums back on, or the, yeah, drums back on, and uh, 
we'll just leave it like that and go on to this one and keep moving and next monday we'll have to swing back through and grab the right seals and we'll drop the cape the cores off but not how i really wanted it to go but it is what it is and yeah you can't always win them all but i'll get this jack back up i got a block underneath that one but we got to get higher to get this one off be careful because they're all spring loaded Whew, that one didn't pop as much as the other one. Oh, and spring right out all the wheels moved but that one's not too bad yeah this is going to give us more room before i'm done i'm going to put blocks underneath these sides and we're actually going to set it down um that way we can do the other side with that air jack we got that seal so there's a seal right here that's leaking so we're going to fix that we're going to check all the fluid again um just run through everything there's no point in the yeah we just got to make sure everything's good this truck's been really really good and i i absolutely love running it so but same thing as the other day pull the shafts out pull the hub off <laughs> as you can see yeah it is um well yeah it's nasty so we might have to pressure wash well we could pressure wash all this maybe we'll get some paint for these wheels paint them up um i think they, they're silver with black hubs so yeah i don't know that front jack's not actually on anything so don't worry about that but i'm gonna pull this out I'm gonna turn some music on and jam out for a while, get some stuff done. When I'm at when I'm recording, I can't jam out and it's kind of tedious. When you can put some good music on and you can jam, obviously copyright. So if you don't know by now, YouTube is a business for a lot of YouTubers and being monetized is a part of it. It does make it so. If you haven't done so, subscribe to the channel, hit the like button, drop me a comment, tell me what I'm doing wrong, right? What's going on? so it's freaking hot in here but it's cooling down outside the farm actually so i got the van actually running because yanko's in it i'm charging my batteries so the farm is actually getting a load of dry hay and i think this is what how it's going to continue so there's a load of big dry bales that came out of i take it addison I'm not sure who actually brought it but that's a vanderwert that is actually there his cousin is scoob and if you don't know Scoob has 44 special pulling tractor and he actually got first place I think in Indiana I think in Goshen two nights ago so big shout out Scoob Vanderwert yeah takes a lot for those pulling series and a lot of work so and it's cool that a northeast guy goes out into the midwest and whatnot and battles some of those crop farmers that well crop farmers tend to play a lot more than uh, northeast farmers so um, yeah so they're getting a load of dry hay and I think that's going to be the farm's big thing. They're going to stop doing much of the, the tedious work in the fields and they'll just buy feed. So I think that's what it, the plan is. I don't know. We don't, I don't talk about that any longer, but we're not with the farm. So let me jam out, throw this together or pull this apart. If I, by the end of the day, if I can have all this ripped apart and uh, reassembled, other than putting the seals on i'll be in a good place but i doubt it this stuff's just it takes quite a quite a while to get done especially when you're by yourself and you're working <laughs> levi there in canada he goes you get all the specialty tools i'm a farmer no we don't specialty tools no 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 so i do got to get the the socket for the nut that will make my life a lot better because it is a torque spec socket. So I'll do that uh, come Monday when we go and get the proper seals. I did exactly what I said I was going to do. Put some music on and jam out. So we went everything from country to rock. <sighs> yeah. I do like a little bit of dance and whatnot, like EDM. But that brings me back to my New Zealand days and European firemen and whatnot. <clears throat> Two of them on, so um, both brake cans, all the hardware, the shoes. If we had the right seals, we would be in a better place. So 
So this side's blocked up, but it's ready to go back together. We just got to clean it up. We're going to clean the tires too. So we got to clean tires. Somebody did say, make sure there's no heat, heat uh, cracks in any of this. We actually look good. These look good. There is still life in those pads, but I figure as long as we're doing all this. So this one came out and that's one half of it. And then the other half is still in there. So we're gonna tap that off just so we have it. But as you can see, that one's dry. So that one was good. This one was slightly leaking. Those other two were junk, but got it all apart. So, well, other than the pads, but yeah, look, that's a good pad. But we're here, we're gonna change it. So somebody was in here, did pads, did wheel seal, seal and pads on this. And this one, no, not so good of a pad. So three out of four pads um, are junk. Three out of four wheel seals are junk. We're gonna do it all. And then we're gonna, once we're done, we're gonna fix whatever that seal right there is leaking. Um, yeah, we'll take that U-joint off get that seal out then we got an air valve and then maybe we're gonna see what this thing can do as far as fuel give it a little more oomph up the road it's on the more conservative side I know I know some people are gonna be like leave it alone don't touch nothing it's nice to be able to get up the road a little with a little more oomph to it we're not looking for any more speed we're maxed out 62 miles an hour based on the transmission motor and rears and we're not changing any of that i'm fine with 62 miles an hour we're all og we'll get there when we get there but yeah we'll get the seals in the morning um and then we'll have this to do i gotta block this and whew, it's hot honestly it's like it's like really hot especially in here but uh it's still light out I'm, I'm filthy. I'm covered in never sees. I got like I'm sweating. Are you hot? I didn't go sat in the AC for like two hours. Where you, where you been? You look like you're gray. What have you been into? You don't want to talk about it? What's in your eye? There you go. You were chasing something in the straw or something. I can tell. But, uh, yeah, tomorrow we're going to go Gear Jammers. So if you don't know, Gear Jammers Magazine, they throw a, a truck show up at, I think it's Monadnock Speedway. And it's a circle track there. And last year, I wish I'd gone. There were some really, really heavy hitters that went. Hater Maid was up there. He's not there this year. I think Charlie made it up there. Charlie's out in uh, Ratul. Ratul? Um, he's trucking and he's out there so but we're going to see a lot of people that we know just from the trucking world it will be cool because there's some trucks that come in that you never you never see on, on, the, on the daily so but appreciate you guys watching along that's something to look forward to tomorrow we got to go get the seals I think me and Andy are going to go up there um, probably drool over some trucks I'm going to show you guys neat stuff and what the day is like because it's like a mini vacation um yeah hopefully the weather should be perfect it's just it's humid it's hot and it's dry so some people got some rain and uh oh, four tenths is not where it's at we got to go look at our corn and yeah yeah i don't think it's gonna be any good but appreciate you guys i'll see you guys on the next one you guys have been awesome so have a good one